Good evening, folks. On behalf of the Omni Foundation for the Performing Arts, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the San Francisco debut of the outstanding Polish guitarist Mateusz Kowalski. Before we start tonight's performance, I'd like to take just a moment to thank some of our sponsors, including the Augustine Foundation, the Hill Guitar Company, Guitar Salon International, the Daddario Foundation, Tangent Computers, and Guitar Solo. We would also like to extend a special thank you to Mac Rigel for sponsoring tonight's video production. Now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mateusz Kowalski. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy that uh, tonight I can play my debut concert uh, in San Francisco. Uh, it's my first time here. And, and tonight I will present a very special program um, to me. And it will be a set of pieces ranging from Baroque to contemporary music. But the leitmotif of, of the concert will be Polish 19th century uh, music. Uh, that's why I started with uh, Diligenza Postale by Marek Sokolowski, one of uh, the four great Polish guitar masters of 19th century. Uh, Sokolowski uh, was touted by one of the most important uh, newspapers in London to be uh, the best European guitarist, and Giulio Rigondi is the one who, who, who said um, such words, such kind words about him. And Marek Sokolowski would also play many transcriptions of Frédéric Chopin music um, on, during his concerts. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know how did Marek Sokolowski transcriptions sound, but we know how um, Jan Nepomus and Bobrovich transcriptions uh, sounded. And Bobrovich would transcribe 
mazurkas by Frédéric Chopin around two years after they were published. And it's very likely that Frédéric Chopin knew about the transcriptions and that he accepted um, the, the fact that they, will, that they were published, because they were published by, by the same publishing company. So, in my opinion, that uh, sheds a little bit different uh, light on, on playing Frédéric Chopin's music on classical guitar. It's not so exotic as many people would think about it. Frédéric Chopin, Mazurkas, Opus 7, number 1, 3 and 4, transcribed by Anne Pomucen Bobrovich. Thank you. 
There was a composer who was very special to Frédéric Chopin. Um, he would very often mention that. He would also study his uh, preludes and fugues. And that composer, of course, is Johann Sebastian Bach. Now I'd like to play um, his aria from Hunting Cantata, aria Sheep May Safely Graze. And that cantata was composed for a birthday party of one uh, of the most important princes back then. And with the birthday party, a great hunt was organized. And during the feast after the hunt, uh, that music uh, was played. And I always like to think about the fact that probably then uh, all the people sitting by the table, very important people, thought that they are actually very important in the history. And there's just music playing somewhere next to them. They wouldn't expect that 300 years later, almost nobody would remember about them, but the entire world would remember about Bach's music. Aria, sheep may safely graze.
guitarist of King of Belgium, guitarist, core guitarist of Queen Victoria, student of Fernando Sol, extremely popular guitarist, friend of Frederick Chopin. And his name is Stanisław Szczepanowski, um, second of the four great Polish guitar masters of 19th century. And um, now I'd like to present his introduction and uh, variations in Creon style uh, on the theme of national anthem. And a very interesting story lies behind the piece because it was sort of improvised after a poetic duel of two famous Polish poets which represented two opposite factions of the political discourse and um, during that meeting the temperature uh, went higher and higher and almost everybody almost started to fight and Stepanowski with his improvisation reminded everybody that uh, they share the same goal and soothed everything down with its beautiful music. Stanisław Szczepanowski, variations of uh, variations on the national anthem.
great composer of 19th century, Felix Chorecki. Uh, he emigrated to Edinburgh and there he taught uh, playing the guitar to the ladies of the court and he was a very skilled, very skilled performer, a great virtuoso and I think that that piece was um, an opportunity for him to show all his skills, all his uh, advanced techniques uh, he mastered to the ladies of the court. So uh, I think he did a very good job because indeed the piece is, is, is very brilliant uh, in style. And it's called Fantasia Opus 40.
as the last piece of the first half of the concert, I would like to present a composition of, in my opinion, one of the most uh, interesting and important <laughs> contemporary composers, uh, Marek Pasieczny. And uh, I will present his Flight of the Kiku Idataki. And uh, Kiku Idataki is one of the smallest birds out there. Uh, the bird lives in uh, Japan. So uh, it's, the piece is also inspired by one of the Japanese folk melodies. And the piece is um, dedicated to Carlo Domenico. It has many, many um, interesting contemporary guitar techniques. Marek Pasieczny, The Flight of Kiku Idataki. 